New build day, and it is finally here, the much anticipated new build. Of course, bringing the rain to iRacing, which is extremely exciting. But the first thing I want to check out here is the brand new SRX machine. Uh, I think this is going to be an extremely fun car, doing a little bit of practice here. Uh, this thing feels pretty awesome. It sounds great. Uh, obviously looks exactly like it does in real life. And I think this is going to be really fun. Really glad to get it in the game and have it preserved in case that series is just completely done. But I think this is going to be a really great car. Uh, let's go out and drive around here. We're at Nashville Fairgrounds. Just listen to it. Got that big digital dash screen thing. The car feels pretty floaty with uh, this setup. I think it's the setup, but obviously the car sits fairly high off the ground. So it takes a minute to get used to it. A lot of tightness through the wheel, which obviously that could be mostly set up. A lot of braking needed into the corner, of course. This thing's got some power as well. I think this is going to be an awesome car to race. And, of course, it can also run on the dirt, which will be fun as well. You get some hybrid seasons with this, so you can run pavement and dirt just like they did in real life. This track is a fun track for them, I think. Got the higher banking and bumpy track. And Stafford, of course, would be really good as well. Most of the tracks they went to in real life we've got on iRacing, so that is a big plus. Really looking forward to this car. This is my little quick first impression with it, but I think it's going to be a ton of fun to race. And it'll be interesting to see how it does on like road courses and bigger tracks as well. I don't know if it'll race very good on the bigger tracks, but with the amount of power that it's got, maybe something like that could work. Probably wouldn't be fairly good for officials, but for some testing, it would be interesting. Um, unfortunately, it didn't ship with AI. I was going to do a practice AI race see how it races with a bunch of cars on the track and it would look better than just looking out the windshield here but unfortunately it was not on the list from what I could tell so we could just just do some test laps here this is just the fixed setup that it loaded automatically it's very tight very tight Let's see if we can get it loose this has the new damage model as well and we did not get it loose We got it loose that time though, gunning it out of the corner. You've got damage on the right side. You've got Very fun looking car, I think. I think it's going to be a great, great addition. I mean, it just looks fantastic. You see it sitting high off the ground. Here's when I overdrove it. Need to get one painted up with some logos. What does the damage look like? Can't tell. I well, didn't get much, I guess. Either way, I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be a fun, fun car, fun, like, stock car uh, that looks all kinds of funky, of course. But going to be great for short tracks, those medium-sized short tracks. There's going to be some great racing, I think. Really looking forward to it. And I suppose we'll go take a look at what it, it will feel like on the dirt side real quick. All right, I've hopped onto Lucas Oil real quick. Uh, I'm sure I'm not going to be a very good representation of dirt racing with this because I am no good at it, but we can see if we can do a couple laps at least. It's really cool to be able to have a car that's built for both. Like you get a lot of, we run a lot of stock cars on dirt on iRacing with Arca going there and cup cars, but those cars aren't made for dirt. This is actually made for dirt and pavement, which is pretty cool. Oh, yep. 
A little over rotation there, cut the course a bit. Should I be in fourth gear? I don't know. Feels similar to the street stock, I would say. I'm getting real street stock vibes with it, which I think is good. I really, I actually really enjoy how the street stocks race on dirt. For my limited dirt experience, I think it's pretty fun. Feels like one of those big, heavy, low grip kind of cars you see. Very skilled, very skilled driver of the dirt. I think probably third gear is all you need. I don't know. Obviously, this is just the fixed set, of course. Oh, watch the tires. Whatever it loaded. Let's see if we can run around the top without going off the banking. Maybe we use fourth up there. Oh, no. Missed it. Missed it. This is going to be an awesome car. I am very excited for this. This is going to be a fun series to run. See what the official series looks like. I, don't, I haven't looked into it at all, what they plan on doing. But if it's set up just like a the late model stock, like a, like a late model series, I think that'd be a lot of fun. But I don't know, maybe they'll try and make it more realistic to the actual real series, which would make a lot of sense as well. Getting the top line working. Go back to the bottom. Nope. Did we start off with a bunch of rubber? I can't even tell. It looks like it's pretty slick. But I'm bad. We all knew that. But awesome, awesome, awesome car. Really looking forward to running it in some real races with some other cars on track. But uh, right now we get to look at it. Look how awesome it looks. Look how awesome I look blowing the corner completely there and going into the grass. <laughs> but man, this is going to be a ton of fun. I'm excited. Really looking forward to it. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to go try out some rain now and uh, try and get one of those preview videos out. Not really preview videos, just more of my first impressions with the stuff. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. Really liking this so far, though. This is going to be awesome.